First, sowing seeds back on the GameCube, the Pikmin franchise has lain dormant for quite some time. The third game in the series was originally planned for the launch of the Wii U, but it's taken a while for Pikmin 3 to fully bloom. Have the delicious fruits of action and strategy been able to properly ripen on Nintendo's first HD console? Following in the footsteps of the intrepid Captain Olimar, Pikmin 3 introduces you to a trio of new explorers, traveling in search of food to revitalize their homeworld. The group is separated after a crash landing on a strange planet, and it's your job to get the gang back together, find your ship's missing parts, and gather as much fruit as possible before the journey home, with the help of the native Pikmin, of course. The team consists of an engineer, a botanist, and of course the captain. It doesn't take long to grow attached to each adventurer's personality. Much of the draw comes from their colorful observations of the world as they discover it, whether it's through nightly diary entries, chatter on the bridge, or their attempts to name each new type of fruit they find. Pikmin crossbreeds elements of both strategy and action-adventure games to create its distinct style of gameplay. The ant-like Pikmin will go where you go, and you'll toss the little guys at anything of interest and whistle to call them back into the fold. You'll direct your troops to tear down walls, gather materials to build bridges, and even split up the group to get through tricky puzzles. Harvesting flowers and fallen creatures increases your Pikmin population, and your army will grow and shrink as you surmount environmental obstacles and battle against hostile life forms. <laughs> Each strain of Pikmin also has unique strengths, and at the beginning of each day, you'll pull the appropriate types from your reserves based on the challenges you plan to tackle. The new Rock Pikmin are able to shatter crystals and withstand crushing blows, while Winged Pikmin soar over rivers and lift objects upwards. Red and Blue Pikmin are largely unchanged, but Yellow Pikmin have an increased focus on electricity, resisting charged attacks, and completing circuits to light dark areas. The purple and white varieties from Pikmin 2 don't appear in the game's story, but they do return in extra mission levels. One of the biggest changes in Pikmin 3 comes from having multiple leaders on your team, creating clever situations that are fun to navigate. You'll often find yourself tackling a problem from multiple directions, and sometimes one commander will need to toss a colleague to higher ground to continue forging a path ahead. By using the gamepad's touchscreen, you can also direct one of the crew to a distant point on the map, letting them travel while you take direct control of another character for more immediate concerns. Learning to manage multiple groups in this way becomes an essential part of completing the game's challenging later stages, and it's an important key to success in the game's mission mode. Out of all the resources you have to manage, it's time that creates the most tension. Since it isn't safe to linger on the planet's surface after dark, you have to finish your work and gather your Pikmin before the sun goes down. Each in-game day only lasts 15 minutes, and if you don't plan your day well, you may be interrupted in the midst of a boss battle, or find yourself without enough time to regroup, leaving stray Pikmin to serve as late-night munchies for the creatures of the wild. Furthermore, the number of days you have to work with is limited by the amount of juice in your ship's stores, but by locating and gathering fruit, you'll give yourself more time and the freedom to explore. There are so many objectives to consider that you might get caught off guard by how fast the time goes by, but if you're diligent, you can easily stockpile double the amount of juice you would need to finish the game. The game's rhythm begins to settle in after the first in-game week or so, and you'll soon learn how to assess how much you can accomplish in a day. While the game seamlessly transitions between various control schemes, including off-TV play on the Wii U gamepad, the best experience comes from using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck with the gamepad by your side, since unlike the gamepad, the Wii Remote configuration gives you independent control of your character and cursor. Unlike the GameCube games, you can no longer direct the group using the right thumbstick. Instead, there's a charging attack that sends your full squad hurtling forward, and a dodge command to get out of harm's way. There are times when the older method is missed, but these two new commands fit the role well, especially since Pikmin are less likely to get stuck or lost along the way. The game's sense of challenge is often internal, depending on how many losses you're willing to accept. If you don't mind losing a few dozen Pikmin, it might not seem so bad, but those tiny screams and wispy ghosts make you feel the sting of every casualty. When you make a tragic mistake or see a large group swallowed up before your eyes, it's only natural to react by restarting the day and trying again. The game's major bosses provide harrowing encounters, requiring you to watch closely for tells and make nimble maneuvers. They often change tactics mid-fight, keeping you on your toes, so overcoming one of these titans feels like a well-earned victory. 
Completing the story mode takes around 8 to 10 hours, but the world is so engaging that you'll want to spend a bit more time to squeeze out every last drop, bringing new Pikmin to old stomping grounds to find more fruit, hidden areas, and tantalizing secrets. Oddly enough, the game only has one save file per user, so you'll have to overwrite your progress if you want to retry any significant portion of the game. Pikmin 3 has a bit to offer outside of the story. First is Mission Mode, which lets you replay boss battles or venture into all new maps to try for high scores, gathering items, and fighting enemies. With a limited amount of time and small groups of various Pikmin scattered across the map, each challenge can take a few tries before you find an optimal solution. A second player can join in as a co-op partner in Mission Mode, or you can fight against each other in numerous bingo battle stages. Each player is given a bingo card of items to find, and whoever gets four in a row wins. And while Pikmin might not seem like a go-to versus game, it can be surprisingly fun and competitive. Pikmin 3 doesn't disappoint. Beautiful environments, persuasively appetizing fruits, and a quirky personality are matched by thoughtful and challenging game design. Nearly a decade since the previous game, there's still nothing quite like Pikmin, and it's fantastic to see new growth finally take root.